Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Today we're back on Insanity Island. Now that we have beaten the main game, I wanted to play through the whole game again, starting with the first dimension, of course, doing the inverted level. So this is basically every level in the game, or at least I think most of them, maybe not the boss fights, I guess we'll find out. But basically we're starting with Insanity Island. The levels are all different, they're all remixed. So this is gonna be a lot of fun, really interesting to go about this. And I did wanna take a look, there should be some new skins for Coco as well, but I wanna be trying out the the um the uh through the ringer skin to start things off today but maybe we'll jump over some other new skins we also got general rule for uh coco right over here and then we also got uh through the ringer for her as well so maybe we'll sort of bounce between stuff but for right now for crash let's hop into the inverted our first inverted level this time for rude awakening let's see how it goes whoa well this is weird okay so we're like glowing oh this is interesting so one thing I did miss about this, you can see it just floating away, there's a little Spyro uh, thing. Oh boy, I missed it the first time we were going through, a lot of it pointed out to me. You just barely hear that. Interesting, so what's going on with this level? There's 104 crates to get, but as you can see, instead of Wumper Fruit, we get these like creeps. It's, it's a little bit weird, but this is what's fun, is that while these levels are the same, they're so different. It's a lot more than say like Mirror Mode from Mario Kart or something where they're just flipped. There's like different colorations and stuff like that. So this will be a lot of fun to go through. Hopefully we get all 104 crates and we get all of the gems in mind. Oh my, whoa, there's a bug up there. I don't know if I needed to do that, but I just wanted to make extra sure. And of course we have all the other stuff going on. Um, yep, we got all the uh, Wumpa Fruit, or I guess, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I can't see what's going on there. That's so weird. Um, we gotta get all the, the berries, the Wumpa berries. Who knows? Um, hopefully we can do it under three lives lost and also get the gem. But this brings me back to some levels in Crash Bandicoot 2 where you had to get like the little, and I guess in Crash 1 as well where it would be very dark and you needed like either Aku Aku or some kind of like little, oh gosh, that's creepy. Like a little uh, firefly to light up the path. Now I don't know if the hidden gem is gonna be in the same spot. Either way, I don't really remember where that is, so I'll have to look around. Oh boy. Um, okay, I got past him, that's all that matters. But yeah, it's like some kind of weird sonar vision. And I, I don't think every inverted level is gonna be like this. Instead, each inverted level has some like interesting thing going on. Sometimes it might be this, maybe. We'll, we'll see in the next level like what that one's gonna be like. And this, ep this first episode of it might be short because it's just Insanity Beach. What is going on? Oh yeah, we're sliding. Oh, this is weird though. This is super weird. So, um gonna grab that one for now. And same thing with that crate. Yep, just trying to make the most of everything here. Whoa, we're coming up on more. What is going on with those platforms over that way? Are we going back over there or? Huh, I'm not quite sure. It looks like, yeah, we're looping around. And it's so weird because I don't exactly remember everything about these levels, so it's just, it's just a little different for me. I honestly can't remember what this was like before. Oh, you know what, I do. Because we had to go up into one of those for a hidden gem. I think that was where the hidden gem was before. So it wasn't there, right? So we're gonna have to find out where that is this time. Oh man, this is so weird. There we go. So yeah, I would love to hear though, have you guys been able to check out the inverted levels at all? Which ones have you been enjoying? Have you beat the main game yet? All that kind of stuff I'd love to hear. But yeah, I hope you guys are excited for more Crash Bandicoot action. Whoa, okay, so let's definitely get up here. Grab some of that. There's only eight crates in this bonus area. That was pretty easy to do. All right, and let's get back to it. Whoa, whoa, anything back here? Oh, you know what I see now. So spinning is what causes the sort of sonar light up. Oh, we got Aku Aku, three of them. Yeah, look at me. Cool. So if it is getting dark, that's what we gotta do. Now I understand, whoa. <laughs> Something's supposed to be happening. I can't see it though. Boom, that was cool actually. Whoa, don't fall, don't fall. I've been in so well, I don't wanna die yet. Hmm. Still haven't found that hidden gem though. You'd think it'd be super obvious because of the lighting, but who knows. There we go. Can't get up that way at all. The music is so weird too. Got it. 
So yeah, every level is the same but different, and that's pretty cool. It's like a whole new game plus. Wow, that was silly of me though. Yeah, and I just need those three more crates. So we got everything except for the hidden gem, which definitely wasn't where it was before. And boom, got it. So unless it's right around here somewhere, not looking like it, I think that means we'll have to go about it again. But there we go, our inverted gem. Very cool. So there we go, Root Awakening. It's messing with my head. So yeah, whoa, do I get the insanely perfect relic earned? Insanely perfect run, think you can crush another level? Hopefully at some point, but I gotta replay that one really quickly and try to find that hidden gem. It was right here the whole time, how did I miss that? Well, that's just embarrassing. All right then, well, there we go. I know where it is, I got it. I just gotta recomplete the whole level. That's sort of a shame, but luckily we don't have to worry about anything like the the, the um, retro mixtapes or anything. We already got all those and completed them all, so we're good with that. We are just going to move our way through and <laughs> complete this level again. Oh, and I forgot to check that out, but there is the new thing we unlocked at the end of last episode for beating the main game. If you spin in a certain way, you get an extra speed boost. Now that does not seem to work on the the rope section here. But you see, I got a little trophy for that. So that's really cool that we can go extra fast if we, if we time everything correctly. And that is gonna be super useful for when we play through the levels again for the relics. Now from what I saw there, the inverted levels, um, it, it looks like they didn't have a little relic thing there, or like a little time trial. I'm sort of hoping they don't because it just feels like the same level again, again, you know? So hopefully I just have to replay through the main levels at some point. That'll be pretty cool. Yeah, that is so interesting. One, two, three. I like how the little sort of thing sort of gives me help with better timing. I like that though. I definitely have to get used to that a little bit more. All right then, so there is all of the gems collected. So that's our first little taste of the inverted uh, levels. And that's sort of something we'll just experience as we play through the game again, I guess. It'll be a lot of fun because even though I've already played that level before, it felt really fresh. I honestly don't really remember it being that way. So, I mean, obviously it wasn't that way, but even the whole layout of the level, and that gave us a ton more gems. So let's head into the second level of Insanity Island and Sanity Peak inverted. Oh, so we're back, and I did notice, yeah, it looks like we do have the same effect going on. I'm pretty sure that there'll be different effects at different times, because I remember seeing that as much in the trailers. Um, I tried to avoid some of the trailers so I could enjoy the game from the beginning, you know, just like totally fresh, but there were still some things I saw. Okay, so this level definitely was a little bit longer than the first one from what I remember. So, oh, not a problem. We'll be looking out for that gem, because now I know that the gems sorta kinda blend in a bit easier than I had expected. Well, don't throw your stuff at me, thank you. Whoa, so I definitely want that golden one. Not too bad. But yeah, the darkness, like it adds a little layer to the mechanic if you are not paying attention. It's gonna get very dark very quick. Cool. Awesome. We got it. Okay, so far so good. I definitely think that, or at least I hope, that this you know second playthrough through the game, even if there is like a little out of difficulty with the inverted levels, won't be too bad. I hope I'll be able to figure it out a little bit easier than the first time through, because this game is ludicrously difficult, but I feel like our skills of the game have improved a lot. So we have 12 crates to get in here. I will, well, is this? Okay, those are just not the kind of crates I'm looking for. Very nice. I missed a little berry over here. Yeah, but I'm really curious to know what these these berries are called. Awesome. Okay, ready? Uh, boop, got it. I do think it's sort of a good thing that you couldn't access these levels at the very beginning though. I feel like it's actually pretty cool that um, you had to get pretty far into the game. You had to get all the way up to the the engine, not the engine, but the um, embryo boss fight, which is like the, the fourth or fifth uh, world in the game, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we need 86 crates, but I'm making my way there. So it's actually less crates than last time, wow. Okay, so I wonder, yeah, there's not gonna be a color gem again. So I don't know if I have to worry about that exactly. Because that was, oh, and I wonder, I think it is flipped from right to left, left to right as well. 
not just visually are things changed. Because I was like, this looks a little different from what I remember. And what I remember differently is I thought the mouse was on the other side. Whoa. Okay, be careful. And that should be, whoa, everything there. Hey, buddy. So there's this whole cutscene, which we can't even see, it's too dark. Run, crash, run. <laughs> that was still pretty cool, that. Still no hidden gem, though, so we're gonna have to move it here. Now remember, if I time it correctly, you don't just wanna press square over and over again, you wanna time it. It's like a one, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, not too bad. Dive under that one. And it looks like I got my third uh, Wumpa Grapefruit Gem. Whoa, okay, that's not what I wanted. Music is crazy weird. Oh my, whoa, okay. We figured that out. Ah, <laughs> sorry, Crash. Come on, we can do it. Oh man, and I think that might have been, oh, there's one more. Where's the last crate, did I miss it? I missed a crate! No, where was it? And where was my, my, my hidden gem? Oh my goodness, what a blunder. All right, well, level complete, that was awesome, but where did I miss that one? And where was the hidden gem again? I'm really not that good at finding them today. There it is. It's so easy to miss those, but there's our hidden gem found. And now we can jump over and we still, the chase is still on for me. But I think I, I think the one crate I missed was when the platforms were switching and there was like some, some crates switched with the platforms. I think I just missed one. Um, we're about to find out. Um, oh boy. Cause I was 86 out of 86. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So there we go, level fully complete this time. I should be fine with that. We already had the under three deaths. We already got all the Wumper Fruit gems. There we go. So that's really cool that we got the first two levels in Insanity Beach done. Um, it's always a very easy one. It was already, it was already very easy in the first um, episode as well. So that's pretty cool that we got that out of the way. Upcoming episodes are gonna be much lo longer. This one was pretty short and sweet, right? So I think it's a nice introduction back to Crash Bandicoot 4 for me because I took a little break. But that was a lot of fun. Next episode, we'll be playing as Coco as we go through the hazardous wastes, getting on the inverted levels in this one done. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.